Hello, this is John Purcell from QuantumLifetime.com and in this tutorial we're going to talk a bit about energy because I think unless we look at the absolute basics of physics when we look at the more peculiar quantum stuff I'm certainly going to get lost and you may do too so let's go right back to the beginning here and before we start talking about light intensity and that kind of thing let's talk about energy a bit so energy is a concept that was around a long time before physics adopted it so when new age people talk about the room having a good energy and so on they were kind of there first and physicists came along and adopted um, energy into physics and in fact energy has a strict definition in physics there's nothing woolly about it in physics it's a, it's a particular quantity of stuff and this is how we define it let's imagine that we've got a well we've got some let's imagine we can measure some distance along here so let's say this is position 0 and this is position x you know it could be 15 meters or whatever you like and then imagine that we have a particle or some solid object here and we start pushing on it and we push on it with a force equal to F and force is measured in newtons but just imagine it's a constant push basically what will happen is the thing will start moving and it will move faster and faster if we keep pushing on it with the same force it will accelerate at a constant rate and in fact Newton's uh, second law tells us that the force applied um, in appropriate units is equal to the mass times the acceleration so uh, for a given force we'll get a given acceleration and for heavier things they're going to accelerate more slowly and lighter things are going to accelerate faster for the same force or if you see a thing moving accelerating at a particular rate it's getting faster and faster with a particular rate then if it's very light you can infer that there's only a light force pushing it and if it's very heavy you can infer there's a big force pushing it so that's, that's Newton's second law and this thing's going to get faster and faster at a rate which depends on its mass so it might start off at it's going to start off at zero um, at, a, at a speed of zero and let's say after a second it has a speed of maybe five meters per second and at another second it's got a speed of ten meters per second and then fifteen meters per second after three seconds so its acceleration in that case would be three meters would be five meters per second per second five meters per second per second that's a measure of acceleration and when it gets to here it's going to have a speed a final speed v let's say and we're going to take a, a bit more of a look at this setup in the next tutorial but what i want to note here is that we say that there's this notion of work done like the, the kind of work that you had to do in accelerating this up to this speed over this distance or pushing on it for this amount of time and we define that by saying that the work done here is equal to the force you had to apply to this thing assuming it's a constant force times the distance traveled so often force is denoted by s but here we've written x so I'll write fx so the work that's the definition of this abstract quantity called work is the force applied times the distance that it was applied for and in fact energy is the stored ability to do work or you could also think of it as being um, the work done is the amount of energy that has been that has changed form so when we finished here we've expended an amount of energy equal to force times the distance and this thing now contains what we call kinetic energy because it's moving we, we see it as having energy and that energy is quantitatively equal to the force times the distance um, that it was accelerated through and that's a strict definition of energy and if you use appropriate units like meters, seconds, joules for energy uh, sec yeah I said seconds okay then um, you don't have to use any like conversion constants you can everything works out neatly like this if you use the SI system it's called meters seconds newtons joules all that kind of thing so in the next tutorial we're going to look at another another definition for energy which is going to follow from this 
situation here. So join me again then, and until next time, keep it real.